Hey guys, Rose Pants here, and welcome back to my kitchen for another episode of Munchies Madness. Today we are going to be making another something that I've never actually made before, but sounds super delicious. Of course, it's really easy, and let's just get right into it. I am a chocoholic. I'm addicted to chocolate, and sometimes you just you don't have a lot of chocolate or something specific in your house, but you're still dying for that chocolate fix. This is going to save you because it's a few easy ingredients that you might already have in your pantry and you would never have thought before that you'd be able to make this. So yes, let's get right into it. Brownie in a mug. Yes. So here we have our super basic ingredients. You are going to need obviously a mug flour and sugar, oil, cocoa powder, and just a dash of salt. The basics, you're going to need a spoon for stirring and a tablespoon measuring cup, and that is about it. So I am going to do this like one take fucking cooking show style again, so I'm just going to show you guys, oh, my kitchen is so messy, but I really didn't feel like cleaning it before I made this video. So, yes, all you're going to do is take your mug, and you are going to add four tablespoons of flour, four tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of your cocoa powder, and just a dash of salt. Dash, I really honestly don't know the technical amount for that, so I just do a pinch, it's going to be enough. You know, you technically need the salt, if you don't add it, I don't honestly know what's going to happen without it, but maybe it won't taste as good. So just add it anyways. So you're going to put all of your dry ingredients into your mug, and then of course use your spoon and incorporate everything together so it's not just like a layer of flour, a layer of sugar, and a layer of cocoa powder. You need it all mixed together. So then next you're going to add two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of just regular water, and then mix that shit up and really, really go around the edges of the mug and make sure that you get all of the flour incorporated into the wet ingredients because it's really easy to get a pocket of just regular flour cocoa powder -ness, and it's not going to bake right and it's not going to taste good at all. So that is it. That is all you have to do. I will repeat for you guys again since I'm not going through it super slowly. Four tablespoons of flour, four tablespoons of sugar, regular sugar, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of water, and a dash of salt. That is seriously all you have to do, mix it up really well in that mug, and then you want to go ahead and just throw that shit in your microwave. The recipe called for one minute, but when I put it in for a minute, it definitely did not look done at all. I mean, if you really like this, like, super gooey, it's not really baked brownie, then that is what you're going to love, and then you'll take it out in a minute and eat it just like that. But I wanted it a little bit more baked so I added another 30 seconds stopped it at the 15 second mark and checked it still kind of needed that extra 15 seconds so I popped it in for that and oh my goodness it looks perfect so let's show you guys final product where are we there's our brownie in a cup Ooh, so delicious Oh my goodness, so good. So, let's see. I don't know, the lighting is not that great, but it is definitely cooked through all of the way. And let's taste this. <laughs> it's still really, really hot. I should have warned you guys about that before. It is going to be really, really hot. When, oh no, I'm upside down. It's going to be really, really hot when it comes out of the microwave, so do not eat it right away. Again, don't eat it right away. Cause it's going to smell really good, so you're going to want to. It's going to be way, way too hot. 
That's really fucking good. If you need a chocolate mix, this is what you gotta do. Add a scoop of vanilla ice cream, and you're good to go. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>